While ionizing radiation, which is, for example, emitted from radioactive substances or generated by X-ray equipment, is therefore a part of everyday work for various professions. Whether and how these workers should be protected from this radiation depends on to what extent the radiation there is and how this affects the body. This effect is very complex. Therefore, there are different dimensions. For example, the effective dose or the organ dose. The effective dose can be determined with special measuring instruments, namely dosimeters. The dosimeters are worn by the people who are exposed to ionizing radiation in particular. Depending on the job people are doing, the dosimeter will have different properties and functions. The central task of a dosimeter is to measure the energy of the radiation that the human body has received over a certain period. This ensures that the statutory limits are not exceeded and that the person is not exposed to high radiation. Dosimeters should not be confused with the Geiger counter. The Geiger counter indicates the known radiation intensity, but not the sum of all the previously received radiation doses. Some dosimeters have an additional function of being able to warn in advance, indicating the areas where the ionizing radiation is more intense. Thus, dosimeters help that the person knows when to leave as soon as possible and keeps the dose at a minimum. There are active dosimeters which indicate to the user the actual dose value straight away and can, if necessary, warn if the predetermined value is attained. Dosimeters are mandatory in nuclear power plants. Passive dosimeters, however, usually measure all doses taken in a month and add them together. The result is obtained only after evaluation and cannot be read straight away. Some groups work with radionuclides that only admit a smaller radius. In this case, there are ring dosimeters, which can only measure the dose in the skin of the finger, otherwise known as the organ dose of the skin.